Oh, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three. It's me. Hey, hello, it's Jake. Welcome aboard. Wait, it's a brand new year, 2023. Oh, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time that I've been, that I've known how to tell time. It's, I've known how to tell time for a long time. This is just another anniversary of my ability to tell time. No big deal. No big deal. I hope you guys are having a good uh, New Year. I hope you had a great uh, Christmas. Well, I've seen you since Christmas, and it's been uh, it's been a good New Year. Uh, school starts here in <clears throat> Santa Monica tomorrow, so uh, this is the end. This is the last day of the Christmas holiday for uh, our daughter. For some of you, you're probably already at work. Already at work. Oh my God, work. What, what's that going to be like? My day, my next, let's check the big board over here. Let's check the big board. When's my next work? Oh, April 1st. I'm going to be in Cleveland, Ohio. I posted that on my website. I'm going to put up these other dates. I'm in Acme uh, in Minneapolis later in April. And then in May, I'll be up at the Punchline in San Francisco. All of those dates, I'll get on jakethis.com before the end of this week. Those will be up. I've also, I think I've finalized the Denver gig for June. And then so I'm looking to fill some things in and get things uh, get things sorted. Hello, Rachel. Good to see you, Dave. Greetings, greetings, friendly, friendly friends. Um, welcome back. It's daily briefing time once again. It's the new year. New year, still at it. I've got, I think, I think this is going to be almost it for the children's Bible. Getting down to it. There's only a couple more stories. Of course, uh, yeah, we. I, I'm just skipping over the uh, crucifixion and the resurrection. We know those are everybody, even people who don't go to church, even people who aren't Christians know those stories. Uh, yes, hooray, Denver in June. Please, Rachel, encourage all your friends to go buy tickets as soon as those are available. Uh, because I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to show them what I'm made of. That's that's all. That's what this year is about. Show them what you're made of. I'm going to uh, I'm going to be doing the gigs in the places that I love. I'm going to be doing online shows. Show this show. We are doing this. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to launch my Substack blog. I've created my profile. I'm going to launch that uh, written blog that includes a, like a newsletter. Convert my email list over to that. That's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. And um, I'm it's if it's not fun, I'm not going to do it. That's that's where I'm at moving forward. I first heard that idea in the 1990s. If it's not fun, don't do it. And now, finally, I'm putting it into play. If it's not fun, I'm not going to do it. And I got to remember to ask myself that question because sometimes people say, uh, "Hey, oh, can you do this? Can you meet us here? We're going to do that. Do you want to? Do you want to go bowling? No, I don't want to go bowling. I don't want to go bowling. I'll go to the Rock and Bowl in New Orleans. Bowl, listen to music. I'll do that." But, uh, nope, not going bowling. Uh, I'll go on some hikes. Today, Belinda asked me to go on a hike. I didn't want to go on a hike. It's cold here and rainy, muddy. No muddy hikes. Not in America. Not today. I, I shouldn't say not in America. I'm going to go on a muddy hike. I can pretty much tell you that's going to happen. Um, but let's just get on with it. Let's get on to the Children's Illustrated. Uh, it's Tuesday. We've got a few more uh, weeks of Bible, uh, children's Bible, and then we're going to be done with that for for a while, for a while. I'm not saying it won't come back up from time to time, but uh, oh my goodness, here's the problem. My eye, did my eyes get worse or did my glasses, maybe my glasses got worse. Andrew, happy, happy New Year's, holly jolly. Cindy, greetings, good to see you. I can see you down there. I've got this uh, light that I'm going to be using to be able to read my children's Bible. Um, one afternoon, Peter and John went to the temple to pray. Outside the gateway, called Beautiful, was a lame man who had been unable to walk from birth and now begged for coins from passers-by. As the two apostles came toward him, this is Jesus has passed away now, keep that in mind. Uh, he asked them for money. Look at me, said Peter, holding out his hand to the beggar. I do not have silver and gold, but what I have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, get up and walk. 
that's the type of bold, that's, that's like some faith healer magician talk. Hello, Flavia. Um, at once the man leapt to his feet and without any support went with Peter and John into the temple courtyard. He was overjoyed that he'd been healed. He hasn't been able to walk from birth. He, he loudly sang songs of praise to God. Yeah, I bet people were astonished to see the beggar walk. And soon a crowd had gathered around the three men. Nothing draws the crowd like healing a, healing a person who can't walk. Why are you amazed? Peter asked them. He's downplaying it. He's downplaying it. This is not our doing. It's the faith in Jesus that uh, this man was made strong. It's through. It's by faith in Jesus, their faith, but not the man. The man, if he could have done it by himself, but he didn't. Then Peter began to speak to the crowd, the priest and Sadducees and the captain of the temple guard were angry that Jesus' followers were preaching to the people. They had Peter and John arrested and thrown in jail. Oh my God, you heal a guy who can't walk and they put you under arrest. That's the kind of BS that was going on in Bible times. The next day, the prisoners were brought before the Jewish council and the Sanhedrin, by whose authority do you preach in the temple, the judges asked them. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, Peter replied, it's of Jesus of Nazareth, his authority that I preached. I preached through him and that the lame man was healed by him, by his authority. When the council saw that the apostles were simple, uneducated men, <laughs> I, I hear you, simple, uneducated, well, I've had some education. They were astonished and took note that these men had been friends of Jesus. Jesus really makes friends with some simple, uneducated dudes. Well, we, he was pretty ostracized there for a while. Um, they ordered Peter and John to leave and then discussed among themselves what they should do. They knew that they could not deny the miracle had happened, but they did not want the news spreading any further. So they called the two men back and warned them not to preach in the name of Jesus. No more preaching in the name of Jesus. If you, if you want to heal somebody, um, do that in the name of uh, David Blaine or something like that. To this, Peter and John replied, uh, judge for yourselves whether it is right in God's eyes to obey you rather than God. We cannot help but speak of all we have seen and heard, the Sanderhead could not decide how to punish them, so they reluctantly let them go. <laughs> That's not the way how my childhood worked. Uh, I can tell you that. If my dad, if he couldn't decide what punishment to give you, there was no like, ah, go out in the yard, have a good time. There was, it was probably going to be, I'm going to start with this, and then we're going to switch to that later. Um, but you're not, you're not getting off scot free just because, just because I can't figure out what the best punishment is. Anyway. Uh, so there's that one. That's that's your that's your children's Bible for today. Um, yeah, what do we got left? Saul's journey to Damascus. I'm gonna. I don't know if I don't know if we need any more children's Bible for a while. I, this may be. We may get a break from the children next week. Something new. We'll figure out something new. I got a lot of things that we could do. Um, sincere wishes. Uh, you, Cindy, have a fabulous 2023. Had better than this last year. <laughs> Well, the only way is up. Yeah, last year was not so fantastic. Rich to Chooch, Happy New Year to you, sir. And uh, yeah, last year, well, let's break it down. 2020, 2019, pretty good year. Not my best year, but uh, little did I know that 2020 was going to be a shit show. Um, and then I thought 2020 was bad. I thought 2020 was bad. And then in 2021, Lady Jerry got multiple myeloma cancer. And so 2020, which I thought was the worst year ever, 2021, worse, worse. Uh, last year, 2022, some great things happened, but she, uh, Lady Jerry came home Christmas Day. Um, Christmas Day, uh, 2021 and then um 2022 she was on the road to recovery we're just now back to her old self um so that was a kind of a journey back this year 2023 is finally i think that's where we're at in the children's bible too 2023 is i feel like this could be a kind of a uh not resurrection because i wasn't dead and lady jerry was not dead thank god um, what a blessing to still have her around and in my life and in our lives. 
Uh, so 2023, I think we're going to get back on track and uh, that's going to be it. Day of 2020 was one of your favorite years ever. <laughs> Flavia 2022 was pretty damn good, full of exciting changes, although it was very stressful. Yes, I guess that's right. Um, I guess that's right. Greetings, Ouija. Um, from the Eastern time zone. Well, good for you. You're out of, out of Alaska. You're going in for, aren't they having some kind of atomic snow bomb thing in, on the West Coast? What was that last week? What do we got this week on the West Coast? Is it atomic snow bomb? Um, oh, did you come in to vote for the new Speaker of the House, Weed? Are you, are you an Alaska congressperson? Um, uh, so anyway, we've got, uh, we've got a, we, we're, I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to be a good year. Um, <clears throat> as I mentioned earlier, I've got a lot of things that I want to do. I did get uh, one date on my new schedule up today, tomorrow, another gig. Who knows later in the week? But right now, let's go for a, a brain teaser. How about a brain teaser? Let's start the year off with a brain teaser. Lots of rain and windstorms in the Bay Area of Cali, Flavia. Yeah, um, we're having rain down here. It's been a rainy December, and it's starting off to be a rainy January. Lady Jerry Belinda loves it. And so we're excited about there. Rich Chooch, no blizzards so far. Well, that's not, that's good news. I think um, we're going to head out in the Kimbo again before the end of January to uh, Death Valley, where it's cold this time of year, not hot, cold. And we're going to enjoy that. But uh, now it's time for a uh, brain teaser, if you will. What do people spend a lot of money on every year but never want to use? Hmm. What do people spend a lot of money on every year but never want to use? These are brain teasers. They're sort of, I think they're riddles, is what we used to call them. We used to not call these brain teasers. We used to, call, it used to be just a riddle. Uh, so this is the riddle. What do people spend a lot of money on every year but never want to use? And I don't necessarily think of this in terms of snow, but in terms of rain, hurricane, uh, fire, uh, earthquake, Insurance. It's insurance. That's what people spend a lot of money on insurance and they hope to never use it. Health insurance. Um, oh my goodness. Get your health insurance. That's a good idea. Um, Rich, you were on it. I think you got that. You have probably typed that in before I said it. Congratulations. You're today's winner. I hope you feel like a winner. I hope we all feel like a winner. Um, that's what I like. Sunny and seventies in Washington, DC. Wow. That's ridiculous. Is that true? I've, you've been known to lie, Ouija, and I will not lie, but exaggerate. So anyway, that's it. It's your brain teaser. We have your Bible story. We had your brain teaser. Um, we could do a little Uncle John's bathroom reader. You know what? I'm going to put the snark. I'm going to move it from where it was in here back back to the show box. Um, so what do we got in the John, Uncle John's bathroom reader? Um, oh, goodness sakes. I, I, these are two. I think I got to I think I got to boil these down. Um, strange lawsuits, Pl plaintiff, Wendy Potasnik, nine-year-old from Carmel, Indiana, defendant, the Cracker Jack Division of Borden Incorporated, lawsuit, 1982, Wendy and her sister Robin each bought a box of Cracker Jacks. Robin got a prize in her box, but Wendy didn't, which, which made her really mad. <laughs> they advertise a free toy in each box, she told a reporter. I feel that since I bought the product because of their claim, they broke a contract with me. So she sued, asking the court to make Borden pay court costs and furnish a toy. The verdict, Wendy dropped the suit after Borden apologized and sent her a coupon for a free box of Cracker Jacks. And even though the company refused to pay the $19 that <laughs> Potasnik had spent on court costs. Oh, wow. Well... Ha ha ha. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? The Cracker Jack company came through with a free box. They couldn't even just send her what they got the whole box full of toys there. They couldn't just take a handful of here's a box of Cracker Jacks and a handful of toys. That Cracker Jack company. Well, that's not how they got to be rich, is it? Yeah, with that and Cracker Jack's not even not even that great, I don't think. Um the only reason you buy it is for the toy most times. Um Okay, uh Cindy. You just talked to your dad's wife in Atlanta, said she might have to be in the basement tonight because of the awful weather forecast. Oh, wow. Well, that's, we had to, the other day, I had to go out. We were already in bed, Lady Jerry and I, and the wind was blowing so hard. I had to go down out, outside, get the ladder out and the camping headlamp and take down the shade sail because it was whipping up and down and blowing up against one of the beams and threatening to 
take the whole house down. So it was a little, little bit of a kind of a nautical sailing. I'm out in the rain and the wind and getting the sail down. It was very exciting. Um, very exciting. <laughs> Snacks would have really sucked back then if Cracker Jacks were popular. Well, Rich, 1982, I think that was Doritos were still around. That's my favorite uh, crispy, crunchy snack. But then Cracker Jacks, they got that, it's like the caramel, caramely popcorn with, you know, but terrible. That caramel makes it so the popcorn can get sort of stale and you still don't notice it because it's got the caramel in it. And then uh, you got a few nuts in there. Ugh. <laughs> Last time you had Cracker Jacks, you thought they tasted like the cardboard box, Rachel? Ugh. Yeah. I'm going to go along with that. Oh, Rachel, I don't know. You weren't here last time, I don't think. But I did say thank you for, and mention all the gifts you sent. Thank you so much for the lovely Christmas things. Um, oh, speaking of which, <laughs> pun intended, the pun intended calendar. Let's see Let's see where we're at. Um, what is it? It's January 3rd. Um, class trip to the Coca-Cola factory today. I hope there's no pop quiz. Oh, these are rough. I, I, I'm going to go back to the riddle. Um, my therapist says I have a preoccupation with vengeance. We'll see about that. That's a, that's a pun. You have to act it out a little bit. But that, 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 uh, that's, uh, that one's not, I'll let that one slide. That one seems good. Lady Jerry, are you going to pop in for a little hello? Uh, well, the oh, groceries. You can't just tease, her, tease them like this. I'll come and say hello, but I've, I've got a lot of groceries. Okay, well, she'll come and say hello in a minute. Um, Laura, you're just, you're in Atlanta. You've been, thun it's been thundery so far. Nothing big for you, but, uh, head to the movies to see Fifth Element in 35 millimeter. Fifth Element. Oh, um, it was okay, but really? All right. Live your dreams. Um, and, uh, you're welcome for the thank yous, Rachel. Oh, so what have we been watching? We've been watching The Nick on HBO max and uh, really enjoying it when the second season of the nick k-n-i-c-k i think it's spelled um and uh, and enjoying it so that's that's where we're at we watched the glass onion huh. um okay it's worth your night i you know i want that hat that uh what's his name james bond wears at the end of the movie he's got a hat that i that i quite enjoyed um you know me i'm a hat guy here's my irish hat Got this, got this baby handy. <clears throat> Just it's nice and wool, nice and warm, slightly weather, weatherproofish. Um, so here we go. How about a little snark? A little snark right now. Um, what is this snark about? Um, uh, drugs, drinking, and the law. Here we go. No, sir, we don't have quotas anymore. We used to have quotas, but now we're allowed to write as many tickets as we want. Cops, they're so funny. Oh, here comes Lady Jerry for a quick hello. Yeah. Quick hello, you've been out, you've had a good time? Yeah. What happened to the, the path, to the rocks? What path? Oh, you'll see up there. Hi, everybody. I don't know, I had a I backed in with the truck. It must have messed yeah, them up yeah. a little bit. I've got to go make soup. I'm making lentil curry sweet, no, lentil chili, sweet potato, coconut milk. Oh, it's so good soup because we've got a friend who's got the vid. Sadly, they all got it over Christmas, so I'm going to make a double batch. Do I also get soup. some of that soup? I'm making a double batch because we know you love it. I do love Jerry, it. And I'm going to take I care do of love you. It. Oh, I'm going to take care of you. You oh, know great. how I how I dote on him, everybody. Just oh, she dote, dotes. Dotes, I'm trying dote. to dote on you. We're, doty, doty, doty. This doty. is the dopey, doty year of dotation. Yeah, I'm going to be just, yeah, that's one of my resolutions. I just made, realized it. I'm going to be doting on this fella. You'll be yeah. pleased to hear. All right, I love you guys. Mwah, happy New Year and uh, soup time. Okay, um, soup time. And then if you could, yeah, and have a look at those stones, because there's a huge deluge of rain coming. I'm going to gonna have a look at those stones. We're going to have to get some more DG, um, yeah, I can tell you that. the rain's wash it all down here. Yeah, so yeah. So it makes a mud for us to splash around in. Sweet. All right. Oh, Andrew, yeah, looking forward to the new show, Last of Us, January 15th on HBO Max. Looks apocalyptically fun. Yes, I do think so also, Andrew. I'm, I'm ready for that show. I don't think Lady Jerry's going to be in on that. Um, uh, but, uh, but I am looking forward to that show. I'm trying to think of what else we, we did watch something else, but I, I oh, 
watched the first 10 minutes of the Lizzo concert on HBO Max, and I loved it so much. Uh, now I just have to get the two other ladies in that. They watched the first 10 minutes too now, but and they say they're gonna watch the rest of it with me. I would've watched the rest of it by myself. I was so positive and made me feel so good. So uh, I, I, I can't, I'm recommending it. I can't recommend it enough. And I am outside of the, I think I'm outside, of, safely outside the Lizzo demographic, but I loved it. I loved it. So the Lizzo concert on HBO Max, check it out, it made me happy. Um, <clears throat> Oh, the soup recipe on the uh, group chat. I'll see what I can do, Rachel. I'll see if I can do that. I'll see if I can do that. I can make that happen for you. Meanwhile, um, how about a Louise L. Hay wisdom card? Um, what do I got? I can heal myself on all levels. Uh, hmm. Re uh, healing means make whole and to accept all parts of myself, not just the parts I like, but all of me. Okay. Um, Louise L. Hay, she's all right. She's all right. I mean, she's, she's all right. Oh yeah. Um, I signed up, I well, follow Tony Robbins on Instagram and he's got some thing that he's doing some free seminar thing, which I signed up for Tony Robbins. It was yesterday, uh, New Year's day. Tony Robbins is saying, sign up. You can do this free thing. Uh, I, maybe I'll put the note, the, the link in the group chat and you guys can watch too on him if you want. But it's the end of January, that last, that last week. I'll, I'll put it up in the group chat if anybody's interested. You just watch him do his motivational stuff if you want to. You don't have to. But it was free. I'm, I'm Tony Robbins curious. Um, that's all I can say. You've been enjoying 1899 on Netflix and Andor on Disney. Okay, that sounds good. 1899 on Netflix and Andor on Disney. All right, I'm going to check that out. Coincidentally, the Nick is in that uh, <clears throat> turn of the century but up to post-World War. I can't remember. I, maybe it's the 20s. No, I don't think it is the 20s. Nah, anyway, yeah, that's a good. It's the most wonderful time of the century. Uh, not really. We, there's a lot of great times to the century. Still, still a lot of good times to come in uh, 2023, I think. We're only a couple days in. I got a good feeling about this one. Got the calendar up already, getting the gigs on the website, uh, getting ready to connect with my fans as I'm doing now. That's what I want to do is kind of get it all uh, squared away so that uh, we can be in touch either in person or here on the internet. Hi everyone, Alan. Uh, yes, how are you? How am I? How am I, Alan? I am pretty good. I'm pretty good. I'm feeling good about the new year. Get ready to take uh, my second or third shower of the new year right after the show. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, feeling good about what's going on. Feeling good about what's going on. Doing a little, we've got a little, we've got some home fix up projects that we're doing. Got some personal uh, to do. I wouldn't say New Year's resolutions cause that's, I'm not doing that, but I am kind of reinvigorating my, I'm reinvigorating myself. Kathy, yes, happy new year. Happy new year to you. Happy new year to you. I was, uh, on, I've got this old uh, VHS tape of com it's comic relief. Um, God, 1992, comic relief 1992, and I've got the VHS tape. And I was just going through. I'm looking for my set because I'm going to digitize that so that I can post it to the group or wherever. Um, but I'm just watching the whole tape, so it's fun. I watched Gary Shandling's set and Paul Poundstone's set today. It's very interesting how uh, a lot of comics. I, I, for this show, have chosen to do topical stuff. So it's, there's some George Bush stuff and some David Duke. They're, they're mad at David Duke. But it's interesting how now, all those years later, it's you, you have to go back and remember what everybody's mad at. Kind of a good lesson for us today um, that someday we won't even look back on this and laugh. We'll look back uh, on this and go, what? Oh, yeah, well, what was it? They Trump, they couldn't, I like this new speaker of the house. They couldn't get the new speaker of the house. What was his name? Kevin, Kevin McCarthy? Isn't that the same name as the guy, the communist witch hunt guy? No, but it's not him. It's a different guy. Anyway, um, Ray Ray, uh, happy new year to you. <laughs> Taking a lot of soup and showers, which you believe is an indicator that we've entered a new demographic. Ray Ray, you got that right. The soup, 
showers, naps. I'm doing it all. It's our year, baby. It's our year. Um, did I meet Robin, uh, Billy, and Whoopi at Comic Relief, or did I already know them? I already knew Robin and Billy because we had the same uh, manager. And uh, Whoopi, I think I had met her before Comic Relief at some other showbiz thing that had happened. I was a little higher up in show business then than I am now. <laughs> My, I've shifted, the tectonic show business plates have shift, shifted. And uh, I'm, I mean, I'm fine. I'm not, I don't mean that to sound bitter, but that was, that was actually the case. That was the time, man, 1992. I, well, I was on comic relief. It was a big deal. I was in a different spot. Um, Kathy, you recently watched an old Barney Miller show, and it's amazing how many of the same issues we have now that we were discussing back then. Yeah, well, Kathy, you got that right. I mean, comic relief was uh, to benefit the homeless. That was that was 1992, the homeless crisis, or which now we're calling unhoused people, because they, they have homes, they're just tents, but they don't have houses. Anyway, I think we knew what we meant when we said homeless, but now somehow we've turned our old selves into assholes through uh, repurposing of vocabulary. And uh, isn't that great? That's one of the marvels of modern times. But uh, yeah, 1992, we were doing a whole benefit to benefit the homeless. And uh, it worked and it didn't work because guess what? It's still a problem. It's still a problem. And I think that this comes down to uh, what we always talk about, what I always talk about, what I think is kindness, compassion, empathy, empathy, patience. Be patient. Listen to other people talk to them. You see someone living on this, that's terrible they're living on the street. Don't try, try and figure out why it's not your problem. Just kind of try and imagine what it would be like if that were happening to you. And and then try and figure out what we can do. Let's think of a plan. Anyway. Um, uh, Alan, last year you, you was rough on comedy. You lost so many greats. God, yeah, you're right. Um, we did lose a lot of greats. I was writing that down as I, as I kind of forecast and and imagine how long I get to live on Earth when I see friends like Bob Saget and Norm MacDonald are, they hit the, they hit the exit, they left the party. Um, Irish goodbye. And uh, yeah, let's hope this is, fingers crossed, let's take care of ourselves, let's take care of each other, let's be nice to a jerk, but don't, but I'm gonna say that in a minute, because right now, right now, I'm going to go in and check on Lady Jerry with making the soup, take my shower. But first, it's time for Seize the Day. We're still seizing the day. We're not going to stop seizing the day. Don't you worry about that. We're still going to seize the day. Um, <laughs> Conical should go out and have lots of babies so we can restock. No, comic comics? Um, well, uh, babies, comic comedians don't necessarily come from comedians. Comedians. Amazing Jonathan was one of your favorites. Alan, one of mine as well. One of mine as well. And uh, I'll, I'll miss him. I forgot about Amazing Jonathan. Um, or Jonathan, as we used to call him. Um, <clears throat> that's another guy I wish I could see. I wish I could see. Wish I could see. That's, that's what happens. People die. And you wish you could see him one more time. But you can't. So, whoever, try and think of who you wish, who you haven't seen in a while. Get in touch with them quickly, quick, because you never know. All right, today's Seize the Day is from W. Clem Clement Stone. And look, there's a lot of Seize the Day here. Like success, failure is many things to many people. With a positive mental attitude, failure is a learning experience, a rung on the ladder, a plateau at which to get your thoughts in order and prepare to try again. And I, I really... I've been trying to take this on board because I really believe it's true. Um, when you fail at something, when you make a mistake, you've got to acknowledge that you made a mistake and you've got to figure out where you could have made a different, better choice so that next time you make a different, better choice. Because if you walk around uh, with this attitude that it was a mistake, it could happen to anybody, that means it's going to happen to you again. You've got to figure out where you could have recognized it before it happened. Not to say that you could have even the first time, but next time, now that you know, 
you could do something different next time. So anyway, and that's a ladder, a plateau. Um, get your thoughts in order. Get your thoughts in order and prepare to try again. Get your thoughts in order and prepare to try again. He, does, he doesn't even say prepare to do better next time. Just prepare to try again. Just take another swing at it. And that's what we're doing this year, 2023. Let's take another swing at it, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. That's, we got to take care of each other. We got to be nice to a jerk because to someone else, we're the jerk. But man, you just drive around in LA now, Santa Monica, LA. People are doing some crazy driving and we're not going to get them to cut it out by being mad at them. We might not be able to get them to cut it out at all. We just got to compensate for it, take care of ourselves and take care of them by not smashing into them, even though they're doing something stupid and hope that they figure something out before someone who's less awesome than us <laughs> treats them like a jerk and smashes into them. Um, all right, whatever you do, don't give up. There'll be plenty of time to give up later. If, if this show has taught me anything, it's that. Um, getting your thoughts in order is like herding cats. Alan, I hear you, but where would you be if you didn't even try? I'm going to enjoy my soup, Ray Ray. You enjoy your soup. Have a great shower. Have a great nap. Um, wake up tomorrow. Rinse. Repeat. We're living the dream, everybody. I'll see you guys on Friday for the happy half hour. Um, you.